Today we've got um, another one from up in New York, Cape May Brewing Honey Porter 5.4. We'll get into that today. afternoon all how are you so it's a beautiful sunny it's starting to chill off a little bit uh heater hasn't come on in the house yet so we've had the windows open doors open 24 7 for the last couple of days yeah it's been kind of nice so it doesn't feel like satan's at armpit anymore but anyway so today we're doing another beer review We have my Sherlock um, Barciana. Bar Bar I never can say that word. This is a Spanish made pipe. I love these things. I've got about five or six of them. Mm. So today we're doing uh, Cape May Brewing Company uh, Brown Porter Honey Porter Deceptively Easy Drinking Dark Ale 5.4%. This is a uh, proud, proud product of New Jersey, and it said, with a sweet hint of honey, honey porter goes down smooth thanks to its balanced, robust, light-bodied finish. Award-winning brown porter is brewed in New Jersey, brewed with Jersey fresh certified honey, and there's a uh, firm malt presence, making it entirely approachable no matter the season. So we're going to give that a shot. This is... Um, uh, sent to us by uh, End of Day uh, Beer Review, which we appreciate if you haven't checked out his channel. Uh, but nobody ever looks at the description, but hopefully my editor puts a link in the description for his channel. Um, we had done a beer trade a while back, and I'm just now getting into his stuff. So, oops. It's going to be foamy, I can tell. Ooh. Definitely sm smell the carbonation, if that makes any sense. So, I'll do a pour here. Yeah. Now, if you guys uh, watched my video a couple weeks ago, or I was doing maintenance on my cars. I actually got two of them in playing with right now. Puddles, which you already held in the intro. <laughs> My car for <laughs> well over 30 years. And also playing with Miss Mabel, which is my wife's mistress, which I built for, and I've had that one for 20 years. Ooh, that's a nice scent. I don't really smell the honey, though. Something, I don't know. That settled down a little bit. So uh, we got uh, for those of you uh, keeping track of what's going on with Idle Isle Woods. Uh, wife went up there this weekend. Um, actually, she went up Thursday. Met with the power company because we have to drop another pole in for electricity, and with our one of our contractors to do the dirt work and the pads. So we all. Got that done acceptable. Um, it's all been laid out. Unfortunately, the Greenville County can't figure out where it is, even though we sent them GPS co coordinates, a map, and staked it out for them. So I, I don't know how else to hold their hand. I I don't know what that scent is. I can. It's it's definitely bubbly and carbonation. Um, it's got some legs to it. It likes to hold to the glass a bit. Almost tastes like a brown sugar, like a light brown sugar, molasses, and a little bit of honey. 
Not much honey. Not as much as I thought there would be. It's not all that sweet though. And that kind of surprises me. I mean, yeah, it's a quarter. But uh, I figured with the add of honey into it, then everything's minus. Oh, that actually, that's really good. I have to really thank the guys that are at uh, end of day brewing review. I know he's got uh, a Cape May um, sign. Um, it's one of his favorite breweries from what I can see on his channel. And everything he sent me, it's been dead on. I've enjoyed all of it. Um, got some other stuff coming up from him. I try, I try to only do like one of these a week, so. Uh, not drinking beer, but the beer reviews. There's just, I don't know, the, some of the other videos I do are a little bit more difficult, a little more involved, much more editing. This, there's, there's a picture, there's the intro, and then there's me drinking beer and talking nonsense. Speaking of talking nonsense, um, do have a video coming up. Um, still kind of writing it out. I'm still trying to process some of the information. And you know me, and I talked about this before, about being a back brain kind of guy. So I'll just let something stew until I went, oh, okay. But I've got a whiteboard and kind of flesh out this idea. And it's just been kind of stuck in my head. But once I start thinking about it, um, I, I got to quit thinking about it because the answers are going to come. But it, 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 it's some more life stuff coming up. Get off my lawn. Mm. That's some very pleasant beer. Not quite as carbonation-y. Um, I wouldn't say it's flat. Um, I've gotten kind of used to the nitrogen beers also, so that might be the difference between, you know, CO2 versus nitrogen. Because um, this is CO2. Um, carbonation and then the stuff that I make um, the uh, uh, ginger beer which you have to go back and look at the video for that um, that's naturally carbonated so that's normal CO2 I like that it's a very complex flavor profile but it's it's very very subtle I mean, it's a 5.6. It's okay, this is very, very drinkable. Hmm. So, want to thank Richard up at the uh, end of the day, Cape May. Two for two. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon and see ya.